Today, we will be looking at the most unusual synthoids I know, the creation of Rob Hordyke, the incredible Benjamin. There are several versions of this module. I will use the version made by Epoch Modular. In the following, we will look at how the signal path is built in this module. And after that, I will present you five highly ambient experimental patch ideas. But before that, if you like what you see and hear, please consider to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button or do both. Now let's begin with the explanation of the module's structure. If you are already familiar with the module, feel free to use the timeline to view the patch ideas. For this demonstration, I use the user manual made by Epoch Modular. Benjamin consists of four function blocks, two voltage-controlled oscillators, a state variable filter, and an unusual block invented by Hordike called the Wrangler. The oscillators have manual frequency control, triangle, and pulse outputs. They also have CV input with attenuator. Without CV inputs, these knobs control the level of internal modulation via their normalized inputs triangle A to mod B and triangle B to mod A. Let's see the Wrangler. On data's screen, the upper trace is oscillator A, the middle trace is oscillator B, and the lower trace is the Wrangler output. In a sense, the Wrangler is an 8-step shift register that takes its data input from oscillator A and its clock input from oscillator B. The output is then fed into a digital audio converter, creating a step voltage pattern of variable length and depth. This Wrangler wave has a dedicated output, a logic output, XOR, and it is wired back into the oscillators and the filter via attenuators. Now Wrangler can loop its data. For doing this, it has offset knob, on-off switch, and a CV input. When Wrangler enters loop mode, it is no longer accepts new data from oscillator A. Both the offset knob and the CV input meet at a critical node in the Wrangler circuit. Once the sum voltage at this node reaches 0.7 volts, the Wrangler locks into the looping pattern. The switch can be used in tandem with the offset knob to push the Wrangler in or out of loop mode. Now let's see the filter. Since it is a state variable filter, it has low pass, high pass outputs with 12 decibel curves and band pass output with 6 decibel curve. The filter's input is a mix of a pulse width modulation wave derived from the triangle waves of each oscillator and the Wrangler signal itself. We can use the pulse width modulation wave via its own output. The filter has a cutoff and resonance control. And it has a CV input as well, with internal modulation from triangle B. Usually, I present the patches verbally first and then play them. However, as the sound and behavior of Benjolin is full of small changes, I thought I would write all the information on the screen while you can listen to music undisturbed. And just one note, I highly recommend using headphones or loudspeakers, because Benjamin has a wide spectrum, sometimes producing really deep sounds. Enjoy! Thank <laughs> you. 
I think these few examples demonstrate how complex module the module is. The idea of building this signal path is brilliant. I think that the auditory character is much appreciated by the experimentalist, but because it can be used so well for sound design, drone making, sound painting, and for many other things, I am sure that after a while everybody can find something they like or can use it for. It was a pleasure to have you with me today and I hope to welcome you back here again soon. Take care and see you next time. Bye bye!